Hi, this is John McField, agronomist for Pioneer in South Central Nebraska with an agronomy update on delayed corn development. Wet, cool weather and late planting have corn development significantly behind normal for the year, causing many growers to question if it's possible to enhance corn growth rate. Well, there are some agronomic practices which growers can consider that impact the development and growth rate of corn. Consider these. First, consider supplemental sulfur. Sulfur is a mobile nutrient within soil. Under wet conditions, it will leach and become unavailable. Sulfur deficiency significantly inhibits crop growth. Organic matter is the key source of sulfur to developing crops, so on low organic matter soils like eroded hillsides or sandier fields, growers may consider supplemental sulfur either by side dressing or chemigating to avoid any unnecessary nutrient deficiency induced developmental delays. Secondly, think about cultivation. Corn roots require oxygen. In high rainfall years, oxygen exchange into the soil can become limited. Raindrop impact on bare soil physically destroys soil structure, resulting in sealing of the soil surface. Cultivating is a great way to stimulate corn growth by increasing oxygen exchange in the roots, drying out the saturated soil, and increasing soil temperature. Third, there's a few things to consider on herbicides. Herbicide stress can slow plant metabolism and further put your corn crop behind schedule. One chemical family frequently associated with this is the growth regulator class of products. Where producers are concerned about slow development, I would caution them about using high rates of growth regulator -like type products, especially 2,4-D. Now, weather conditions at the time of herbicide application are also very important. Post-emerge herbicides that are intercepted by developing corn plants must be metabolized. Temperature at the time of application plays a critical role in this metabolism. In general, 80 to 86 degrees is ideal temperature for herbicide metabolism. Cooler temperatures like those below 70 and hotter temperatures like those above 90 are known to significantly decrease the metabolism of her herbicide within a corn plant. The result will be slowed or delayed development. Boom height is another consideration. As crops gain size, the amount of herbicide intercepted by the canopy will increase, thus increasing the potential for an impact on crop development. So consider this. An eight inch tall corn plant has approximately 20 times the surface area of a newly emerged plant, and a 12 inch tall plant has approximately 30 to 35 times the surface area. Adjusting boom height or utilizing drop nozzles on taller corn will help minimize the amount of herbicide intercepted by the crop, which has to be subsequently metabolized. Now fourth, sensible irrigation. Sensible approach to irrigation is important because irrigation water is known to reduce plant growth for a short period of time. This happens through saturating the soil, reducing oxygen exchange to the roots, and decreasing soil temperatures. You can avoid unnecessarily de delays by scheduling your irrigation properly to avoid saturating the soil. And finally, starter fertilizer. If a producer is replanting, do not miss the opportunity to take advantage of the benefits to starter fertilizer. Where soils are lower in fertility, low pH, or low in zinc, the benefits of starter fertilizer can be further increased, benefiting the producer. This has been John Mick, your pioneer agronomist in South Central Nebraska. Have a good week and stay safe. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.